Welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So in this video, we'll be seeing one of the most important and frequently asked interview question, which is how have you implemented OOPS concepts in your framework or how did you implement or the more the question can be like, where have you used inheritance in your framework, right? So inheritance, abstraction, then polymorphism, Okay, and then you can get question on encapsulation. So these are all your OOPS concepts. Now, whenever you get this question, you have to take care of two things. One is you don't have to give just the definition. They are not expected that thing from you. Definition, they'll get it in an interview from some another low experience guy as well. But these kind of questions that are being asked in the automation testing interview, they are looking forward from you is the detail level of explanation and the implementation level where you have done. Second thing is real-time examples you have to give. So if you have worked in any of the project, then in that case, how you have implemented these things. Even if you have not implemented, how are these things implemented in your framework, right? So it's one and the same thing. So what you need to do is, let's say, let's take an example of inheritance. And before that, let me show you one of the digital product which is available on the top mate. In this particular product, I have explained about the OOPS concepts in the automation framework. Even if you are someone, a beginner, who is not working in the test automation, who has not got an opportunity to work in the test automation, but is trying to switch from manual testing to automation testing or functional testing to automation testing, or who is someone who has recently started in automation testing, but you are not able to answer these question, type of questions, then this product you can avail at a very nominal cost and uh, you can use this particular product for your interview preparation. Now coming to the question, so let's take an example of inheritance. Okay, now how inheritance can be implemented? So there are multiple ways, but one of the basic way is in your framework, you would be having one base class. Okay, in that base class, what you would be doing is you would be defining the web driver. Okay, you would be initializing the web driver over there in your base class. Now, this is this base class would be in one of the packets. So let's see those things. So let me explain you this thing. Okay. So this will be one of your package. Now, let's say in your in this your base class, you have defined this particular web drive. Okay. Now, if you want to use the methods of this web driver, what you need to do is you will have to extend this class. So you can tell extends is a keyword which is used for inheritance. So you'll be extending this class where in the another classes where you will be using the methods or the functions or the data members of your web driver, right? It can be any other class. Let's say you have got a page object model, right? So in that you have got a page, for example, search is one of the page. Okay. So you are extending this thing, this base class in your search page. So you will be writing over there this your class for example it's search extends your base right so this is how the implementation you have to tell and as soon as you tell that what you can do is you can also tell that i'm using the web driver methods in my pages level or at my locator level to further dig down the importance of this inheritance implementation so this is one of the way how you can explain inheritance okay now here you can get cross questions as well what is package what is page object model, right? So page object model is a design pattern. Page package is nothing, but you would be grouping the files together and that you would be keeping them. 
So further, you can also explain that this is an inheritance, but what type of inheritance is this? For now, this is a single level inheritance. Why single level? Because you have got one base class and one search class. So search class is extending base class. So you have got one base class, one derived class, right? Or you can say one parent class, one child class. Okay. Now let's take this example. If you have more search, such kind of pages, so you have different, different pages then. For example, you have one page created for search screen. You have another page that you have created, for example, login screen. So you can have multiple pages here. So this is one of the page. This is page two, this page three, for example, so, so on and so forth. You will be having up to further pages and level. Then what you would be doing is you'll be extending the base class. Okay, you can do that as well. And now what type of inheritance would this be? So this will not be a single level inheritance. So let me know in the comment section of the video itself, what type of inheritance would this be, right? Because when you have a single parent and a single child class, then it is a single level inheritance. But then you've got inheritance types as well. Like you've got hybrid inheritance, you've got hierarchical inheritance, you've got multi-level inheritance. So if there are multiple pages who are extending, who are extending the base class, right? Then what would happen is you can use them who are extending the base class, then you can tell them about the different type of inheritance from that aspect as well, right? So that's how you can tell about these particular concepts. And all these things are covered in this particular, particular digital product that I was just showcasing to you. So let me just share my screen. Right. So you can see this inheritance example we have given. Okay. Apart from that, if you want to showcase the polymorphism. Now, what is polymorphism? So again, in polymorphism, you have two different types. Okay. One is method overloading, one is method overriding. Right. So that also you can get. You That also you can explain. Right. Method overloading, method overriding. Right. So these things you can explain. Then if you get, if you're telling about method overriding, so you can tell about these examples, get and navigate methods. Right. These you can tell from the method overriding perspective. Right. Now method overloading, you can tell with respect to action class, assert class. These are all the examples of overloading. Right. So we are using implicit weight in Selenium. Implicit weight is an example of overloading. See, in an interview, it becomes very important that you are giving some real-time examples. Right? Don't give examples on uh, another, like generic examples, until unless it is not asked. You can give the examples with respect to your test automation framework itself. That would be more beneficial. That would be more um, leaving, that would give a positive impression on the interviewer as well. right? So that's how you have to deal with this kind of questions right so you can avail this digital product i have put this particular products link in the uh, comment section as well as in the description of the video as well so you can avail this product and you can start for your interview preparation meanwhile also let me know if you are looking for any such kind of interview preparation material or any such kind of questions and uh, any such kind of uh, interview assistance so i would be ready to assist you in that as well right so thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates